So today I'll be showing you guys how to mod a Game Boy Advance SP. So first of all, you're going to need a Game Boy Advance SP motherboard. Then you're going to need a Game Boy Advance SP battery, a speaker, these two hinge pieces. I just have a complete one, so it's easier to take out. IPS screen with the cable. Here we have the cable. And this under here is the screen. And then you also need one of these wires and a soldering kit to solder the wire on. And you'll also need a shell. So this is a Game Boy Advance SP shell, which is ready for a IPS screen. Or you can just cut it out yourself. Yeah, so the IPS screen fits, but that's pretty hard. I think you have to cut like something here or something. I'm not sure this yeah some like that but i just recommend getting a ips uh ips ips shell kit so you can so you don't need to cut anything yeah so first of all we're going to start with this and the shell here i'm going to take out these two pieces so i'm going to use a pry tool for that so here we go and i'll also need these from the shell boom these two pieces here so going to just while it's the shell is open going to push these out oh and then just push that out there we go now get this ready take that off put that on open the shell and then push it in just like that boom now these buttons can just fall out. It's much much easier to just take these buttons out, all of these buttons, because they'll be in the way later, and even now, I guess. And just take this back cover off. There we go. Now close this. Boom, push that out. Whoop. There I have my two hinge pieces. There we go. You might just start with having two hinge pieces, but I had to take mine out. There we go. Push that in. Open the shell up. And with that front here, just push it in. There we go. Moving on now to the screen. So I'm going to open that, take the screen out. Be a little bit careful with the screen here. Boom, I'm going to put this wire here for later. Remove that. Boom. I'm going to take this off, just peel it. Boom. Now, I got a tape piece right here with double-sided tape. So I'm just going to come on there. So I'm going to use this double-sided tape here. Just put that there, right under the cable, I guess, or where the, or where the cable is supposed to go. I'm going to put this in position and push this in. There we go. So that's how that's supposed to be. Turn this around, push that in there. I'm going to just do that like that and push it through here. Boom. Come on. Just like that. See, just like that. Push it through the other side. Now, I'm going to put on the top cover, or you know what, I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to put this on here first, and then the top cover. There we go. Now I'm going to screw in, come on, screw in the top cover here. Just five screws. I'm going to take it from the kit. Put that 
there. Take it out of the kit. I guess you don't really need to solder if you do not need adjustable brightness. But it's good to have, you know? It's good to have. Come on. Now I'm going to use this tri-wing screwdriver and find these tri-wing screws that are short. There we go. And then screw this in. Yeah, this trowling uh, screwdriver piece was a little too small. Come on. There we go. Now these screws are a little weird. Have to like push them in while screwing them and you have to do it pretty hard i guess you're like the shell maybe doesn't have thread by itself maybe you have to make it maybe that's why it's hard and you have to make it while screwing the screw in so it's really hard There we go. Boom. And the last one. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's pretty hard to do with a camera in your face. You have to like rethink how you're doing absolutely everything or you'll touch the camera and make it wiggle, I guess. There we go. Yep, screws are in. I'm going to close that. I'm going to take this piece, push that in here, boom. And then I will have to screw it in. Grab the plus or whatever it's called. And I'm going to have to screw it in with the long plus screw. It's the only one in the kit, so not that hard to figure out. There we go. Boom. Now, soldering time. So I'll just grab the camera and my pocket recorder thingy and i will just tell you what i'm going to do so first of all i'm going to solder this onto this pad but be careful with all of these just only this uh, round pad put that on there and the second one is going to be on this one q1 to B. Boom, right there. Q1 to B. Right there. So yeah, I'm going to solder these two and uh, I'll be right back. All right, so soldering time. So here I have my soldering iron. And uh, yeah, so what you're gonna need is some flux. I do not use flux. Yes, I do not use flux. I will just use this uh, wire and this wire i guess yeah i don't really know what it's called but uh, you probably do if you have a soldering iron already now you know what i'm going to pre-tin tin yeah this is tin pre-tin this pad here there we go that is tinned then i'm also going to pre-tin the uh, no the Q12B pad. There we go. Now going to take this wire without touching the soldering iron. Boom. And then solder the wire to Q12B. 
just like that. Then I'm going to put in, you know what, put the soldering iron back in its place. Going to put this cable into the motherboard. There we go. Now, I'm going to take this. Okay, so this will be a little hard to record. But yeah, you take this wire now and you solder it to the cable on the on the screen board. There we go. Uh. There we go. Boom. Got that working. Now, this one is soldered to Q12B, and this is soldered to the cable on the cable. So yeah, now back to the other table. Right, and we're back. Now I'm just going to put in all of these buttons here. Put them in the right place. You might also have to put in this piece, but for me it was already in. Sometimes it's in, sometimes it's not. So make sure to not forget that. There we go. Close that. Then the speaker. Do not forget the speaker. Boom. Then close this. Be a little mindful of the cable. There we go. Now screw the motherboard in. Boom, and now test. So I'm... Um, what I'm what I like to do is I mean first of all turn the motherboard off then put the battery with the contacts exactly how it's supposed to be so for me it's like this open it turn it on see it works and test the brightness as you can see it works yeah screen looks really good too so uh, yeah that works Turn that off. Now I'm just going to clean my power switch because it got red when it's supposed to be green. Yeah, and just clean the motherboard here. Uh, I do recommend that you do the same since these are old. So uh, once I've done that, I'll be back. There we go, I gave that a clean with some isopropyl alcohol and a toothbrush. Now it's putting it back together. So I'm going to not forget this piece for the battery cover. What? There we go, come on. Might be a little hard to put in, but just put in. There we go. Now, power switch. Boom. Just like that. Just leave it in off. And close this up. There we go. Make sure everything is closed. Now I'm going to switch to tri wing and screw everything in. Yeah, and as you might see, attach this film to the middle surface on the back of the screen, it's useless. You don't need to do that. Someone in the comments will probably say, oh, you need to, but you don't. I have done this over 30 times, or maybe over 25 or something like that. Yeah, about 30, 30 times, and uh, never used it, and you don't need to because there's nothing that can transfer, I guess, electricity. It's plastic over the motherboard. 
or no over the screen so nothing can go wrong you don't need that plastic film to say it like that boom those are in two screws left and then we're almost going to be done almost not yet nothing hard left let's say it like that boom yeah that shell is a little weird that's how it is with aftermarket shells i guess yeah a little interesting yeah now i'm going to put in these starting with the big ones that are supposed to be on the left and right top boom and then the small ones There we go. There we go. There we go. Boom. Now, you know what? Let's do. Wait, where's the Nintendo logo? Where in the hell is the Nintendo logo? There we go. There it is. We'll do the back sticker first. Just keep it as closely to this side as possible. Just like that. And boom. Perfect. See? Perfect sticker. Nintendo logo. There we go. Apply. And take off the film that's on the Nintendo logo. There we go, put in the battery, put on the cover, screw the cover in, there we go, and here you have a modded Game Boy Advance SP, boom, with adjustable brightness. So that's how you do that, thank you for watching, like, dislike, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, peace out.